Hey everyone, we are back here with another Canterbury boss to survive. I know it's been a minute. That's because like high key, I ain't got no weapons for this series. But we're here today. We got kind of like a filler episode. You guys know how anime has like filler. Boom, bada, bing. This is a filler episode. Completely canon though. Boom. The Obama prison. What a beautiful weapon. Now, I think in the past I have tried out this weapon. I just never went through making an episode because I don't think it's as powerful as like some of our previous weapons. So, you know, that's why I'm calling this a filler. But let's see it in action here. Let's go ahead. Let's beam this dude. Okay, okay. It's not bad. It still does damage. But as you can see, we've had weapons that hit like negatives. Like they go to a million and then they hit just negatives. That's how much damage those were doing. So it's kind of a step down. Let's get to it though. Probably won't kill every single boss this episode, but it's all good. Like I said, filler episode. Not bad though. Not bad. Still kills things pretty fast. But obviously we got some monsters. We got some beasts that we're gonna see later on. And we may or may not have trouble when we get to those beasts. But for now, it should just breeze through everything. Not too uh, many obstacles should be in the way, especially, you know, pre hard mode bosses, even hard mode ones. People still question it, like, Game Ridges, why do you even do the vanilla bosses? It's the continuity, man. Me not doing the vanilla bosses would be like animes not having an intro or something. You know, it's for the continuity. It's for, I literally just kill them just because. But yeah, let's get to it. I'm high key forgetting, like, what bosses to fight. So, uh, you know, this might be. A rare episode where I forget what bosses to fight is possible. It's definitely possible. Like I said, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. I do not like the noises the dark mage makes. I'm gonna fight Skeletron down here just because you know let's let's change it up a little bit. Oh. Uh oh. We got a weapon that can't even fight daytime skeleton. It's all good. With the power of God, I make it nighttime. Boom. Killable? What? Not killable? It's nighttime, right? Yeah, it is nighttime. Maybe because I summoned them during daytime. There we go. I was about to say. I was about to say something was up. It's all good. Added more boxes to the underworld, of course. And since it's nighttime, you know, it's a good time to bring in the mech trio here. Let's let's bring them in one by one. Uh, like I said, less powerful weapon. We gotta we gotta ease it in. We gotta be nice and gentle. Oh my God, <laughs> that was beautiful. I want to see that again. Oh my music to my ears all right it is plantera and golem time I like to fight both of them in the jungle temple you know they're jungle bosses so it doesn't really matter i can literally summon them anywhere because i have mods installed just like i could do this hey let's bring the duke over here instead of at the ocean he's kind of fast he's low-key juking me oh until he's sister i'm over here at the ocean i don't know why i always do this like i come over here to fight duke but like i've been fighting duke in the jungle temple so i legit just come over here to fight like the ogre and betsy <laughs> bosses damn that boy is screaming let's go ahead let's bring in betsy take her out too kind of fast like the dude all good go ahead let's bring in the dutchman just standing nice and still thank you i don't know what this is is this a calamity thing probably i know recently like uh with the team mod loader update recently like i could not get this mod pack to work this mod pack that i use for this series Okay, we're not going to kill him during daytime. It was something like a Fargo's mod recipe. Like, you could craft banners in Fargo's mod. And then there's like an error with that in Calamity. So you have to go into Fargo's mod, disable the banner crafting recipe thing. And then you could use the mods together. So I'm glad that I figured that out. Because I thought for a second, you know, maybe we were going to have to do a uh, video without Ek Death in Fargo's mod. And you know I use Fargo's mod a lot. Like, this is one of my favorite accessories, the World Shaper Soul. The only reason I don't use, like, any other Fargo mod things is because, like, usually I use this character in different worlds. So, like, sometimes I don't have the mod installed. Meaning, if I had a bunch of souls that I relied on for one character, and I go into a world that doesn't have Fargo's installed, it's like, oh, my character can't move at all. Speak about not moving at all. This bitch is freezing me. Don't freeze me. Calm down. Martian saucer. That's the wrong one. The core. There you go. Gotta remember to spawn in the core specifically. He doesn't like coming in any other way. All right. Last but not least should be, I guess, actually, we got, we'll we fight a dungeon guardian too. Awkward. Boom. And then bring in dungeon guardian, which I don't expect to kill at all. If I couldn't kill daytime skeleton, I don't expect to kill him. Well, I can sit here for a while and do it. You know what? I'm gonna do it. And it is dead. See you later. We actually could kill it. It just takes a minute. I'm assuming that's gonna be a majority of the harder bosses we run into. All right, we're here at the boys. What's up, boys? Get ready to meet Obama. 
but prison form. You like how the, the beams are red, white, and blue? Beautiful little detail there. I didn't even really read the weapon. You know, that thing that I do in every episode? You can see. Fires red, white, and blue beams, rain stars up, down upon your enemy. Beautiful. Just like Obama would do, right? Alright, solar pillar. Get his ass out of here. Nebula pillar. Where the hell is it? Nebula pillar. Get your ass out of here. Wait, hold up, does this do magic damage? You know what? I'm about to put on a magic armor set. Let's put on the nebula armor set, okay? Let's buff the damage a little bit just to make our lives a little bit easier. I probably could put like a way stronger set on, like a calamity one. But, uh, you know, represent vanilla Terraria, my favorite Terraria. Just kidding. Modded all day, baby. T Mod Loader 1.3 all day, baby because we can't do 1.4 yet. I think there was a comment, somebody was like, you should put the encumbering stone in your inventory. I believe that's a 1.4 item, if I'm not wrong. <laughs> Unless there's a mod that adds it in, you know, backports it in. That is a smart idea though, because you know, that would stop me from picking up garbage all the time. Oh yeah, I forgot that I'm supposed to fight bosses while I wait. Let's fight Abyssion, baby. Last form of Abyssion, why not? There we go. Not even fighting the other two forms. Why does this Abyssion always make my game lag? I don't know what it does. It just makes my game lag and I start moving in a random direction. Hey, I of Cthulhu. Nope, that's not your name. Look how I was shooting at his core. You can really tell that I have not done this series in a while because I was shooting at his core first instead of his top eye. All right, and now we can shoot him in the core. Let's get his ass out of here. My bad about some of these later boss fights, the audio, the Terraria audio is a little bit louder than me, which usually doesn't happen. I don't know what happened. Maybe my volume just like reset at some point or my mic was really low. I don't know. My bad. Sorry. You might not be able to hear me. Okay. Let's bring in the trio here. Uh, hopefully they're not too loud. I'm actually going to turn my head down. Scream that. I had a feeling. Boom. That one dead. Boom. That one dead. And that one dead. And now let's just beam. Stop shooting at him so he doesn't scream at us. And now we're on to bigger and better bosses. Let's start with the mutant. I don't know why I like fighting this one after the Thorium bosses. Okay. That I don't like that note. What's going on here? All right. Just by looking at this fight right now, it looks like it is doable. But I'm going to have to sit here for like 10 minutes. All right, I'm gonna consider that uh, the Obama Prism's first L. It's all good, you know, weapons take L's sometimes. Honestly, it's been a minute since we've seen a weapon take a lot of L's, so this might be a, a very good thing. All right, let's fight Yarn in Providence. Boom. What's up, Providence? How you doing? Okay. Again, Providence does seem more than killable here. It's just gonna take a while. Actually, it's not taking that long. There you go. Should be dead unless it's over. Phase two that I don't remember. I don't, I don't play the game involved like that. Uh, next, yarn, boom. This one is another one that I think we could kill. It just takes a while. Uh, it looks more than doable. So I think we should just kill it with a different weapon and move on. It's doable. It's definitely doable. It's not hitting like a hard damage cap. All right, now we get to a boss where I think is not going to be doable. Look at the description of this weapon. I can't even read it. It fills up so much of the screen, but half of it's off the screen. All right, let's see. Dog. Can we fight dog? Where are you? Down. I had a feeling. Can we kill him? We can kill him. That's uh, honestly surprising. It's like perfectly under the damage cap. Which means that things are definitely killable. We got to see second phase though. You know what? I'm going to manually summon in second phase because I just killed the first phase on accident. Like instantly. Wait, is this the first phase? Bro. All right, whatever. I... <laughs> the motherfucker is just disappearing when I'm killing him with another weapon. He's scared. Obviously, I would be too. If I got killed as many times as I did in this series, I'd be scared too. All right, next up, we got a uh, Supreme Cal. Let's run over here. Wait. Is this how I do this? I always forget how I do this. I think I can just summon it in, right? Boom. Oh, God. I hate fighting Supreme Cow. This takes forever. <laughs> and I already feel like I know the outcome. Okay. Let's see. Can I kill Sepulchre? No. He just denies the beam weapon. Uh, I can kill the hearts. It takes a little bit of effort, though, because that fucking Sepulchre keeps walking in front of it. Stop, bro. 
All right, let's see it against Clem or Supreme Kong. It looks like it's working. It's just another case of it's gonna take a while, but they're more than killable. All right, our last set of Calamity bosses here. The, uh, what the hell is it? The, the Dradon. The Dradon Gang. All right, Thanatos. Um, uh, 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 this one. This one. And, oh, look, there's one more. Calm down, calm down. Can I kill any of them? Yeah, there's too many minions. Oh my god, it's so loud. Hey, this one's doable. The frame rate doesn't, but everything else is doable. My game is literally like shaking, and quaking, and lagging. So the audio is so louder. Like it might be loud as hell for you guys, but I got my volume turned down. It's still loud on my headphones. This looks doable. I'm marking it off the list by leaving the game. I like how you can still hear like the steam they're shooting out even after I left the game. All right, we're back. Let's fight the Eidolon Worm now. Hopefully, uh, actually, I don't know. I, uh, maybe we can't beat this thing. I think we're gonna be in the same situation. Damn, that boy, that boy hitting that move though. Yeah, again, this looks like it's more than doable. It just takes a while. It's like, this is the equivalent of like fighting the Moon Lord with a copper sword in God mode. It's doable. It's just gonna take a while. So honestly, this weapon isn't as bad as I thought. I'm gonna go ahead and kill it with a real man's weapon, though, the Tome of Greater Manipulation. And uh, let's go ahead, let's move on to uh, Bill Cipher, our ending trio here, Ek Death, and of course the Ugandan Knuckles. Starting with Bill. Not Bill Nye the Science Guy, Bill Cipher, the Pyramid Guy. Not as cool as Bill Nye, if I'm being honest, okay? Doesn't look as killable as Bill Nye. Well, I don't know, we gotta see a Bill Nye boss mod. Actually, maybe he is killable. Again. <laughs> The same thing, it's just gonna take a while. Bro, even the greater Toma manipulation takes a while to kill Bill Cypher. Look at this. That's honestly surprising. Because the Tome is definitely a Hall of Fame weapon. So to see it have a little bit of trouble with previous bosses, well, you never know. Previous bosses can get buffed. Definitely, like, the Ugandan Knuckles is a great example of previous bosses that were killed that got buffed. All right, let's bring in the boy Death himself, or used to be Death himself. Now, sort of a shadow once you of what he once was but not today i can still shoot though <laughs> this is pretty cool that's about to be a new playthrough beating terraria as a ghost all right the ugandan knuckles let's do it i don't have any faith at all uh yep i'm not seeing the health bar move okay and i'm dead please sir leave me alone please leave me alone how do i get rid of him? how do i get rid of him? that didn't work <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna die as long as I'm holding the greater tone. So I'm just going to be leaving the world for like the 10th time this video. But yes, sir, there it is, the Obama prison. Boom. Oh, so beautiful. I don't know if I'll use this like Obama prison picture in the thumbnail or if I'll go check out like that Obama prison texture pack. Like I'm pretty sure there was a texture pack that I remembered that like turned everything into like Obama pictures and it had a prism in there and it looked pretty cool. So if I do use that, you know, I'll throw that in the description. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave the weapon suggestions. Man, we are running out of weapons here. But yeah, if you guys haven't seen like my tweet about it, uh, recently IRL, I have been dealing with some like physical injury. It's something with my hip. Like I didn't really want to talk about it. I don't like talking about stuff with like physical and mental health with you guys. But like, honestly, you could probably talk about, tell by like my mood in this video. I'm just kind of out of it, man. Like my left hip has been hurting. Like my left hip go groin area, thigh area. There's just been like an injury with it. So I can't sit down for too long. Uh, I'm in the middle of getting a new doctor. So that's why it might take me a while to like figure out all of what's going on with it. But I'll try my best to get some stuff out. Uh, luckily, I do have a standing desk, so I can't do it stuff in standing mode. It's just like some of the wires are kind of short, so I got to be careful. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will be streaming. There will be some non Terraria content on here. As much as it doesn't get views, you know, I enjoy playing things that aren't Terraria. And it's all good. It's all good if it doesn't get that many views. But yeah, check over the Twitch twitch.tv slash gamers 101 all that stuff will be in the description because i have been streaming i've been trying to stream a bunch you know we've been playing some mario party on there some stardew you guys gotta watch the stardew series man i plan to eventually get the stardew on the channel but uh it's gonna take a while to edit it all because like i don't have any editors anymore i have to do everything on my own but yeah check out the second channel if you're trying to watch streams that you missed posting all of them over there uh that will probably hold you guys over while i get healthy back from this injury but yeah hope you guys enjoyed i'll see y'all next time